if you don't mind dropping a like on the video right now, I would greatly appreciate it. And in return, I will bless you guys with amazing RNG next time you spin in the banner. No cap. Yo, what's up guys? Cream Puff K here. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Guys, these banners are crazy. Back to back new units for the Tokyo Gold update. But before we spin in the banner, make sure you guys use the brand new code GOL. G-H-O-U-L. I believe it gives 500 gems. Four or 500 gems. Make sure you guys use that code. Alright, so we are going to be spinning for the new legendary Noro. And if we can, get the new mythic. But you guys know my luck in the game. But before we do that, let's go ahead and pop a boost, because like I said, my RNG is terrible. 5.5% chance of getting the Legendary, and a 0.688% chance of getting the Mythical. Let's get it. Don't believe we have any summon tickets, we got VIP, only 40 each. Let's see, uh, we got 18,000 gems, maybe we might go for the Mythic. Because I think we're going to get the Legendary here pretty quickly. I guess I spoke too soon. First 10 spin, I didn't get the legendary, but that's all right. Getting a lot of epics though, not bad. Yeah, oh, yo, 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 yo! I just clicked so fast, I thought it was Zenitsu, but we did get the legendary as you guys saw. Yo, we got another one, let's go! Dang, his freaking tail or his thing or whatever it is, it's like actively moving in his idle animation. Okay, we got a shiny Ichigo. But he's only the rare, so he costs 1,000 yen to place at the start, 78.2 damage, 9.1 SPA, 17.4 range. Like I said, his model is going crazy. Let's go ahead and showcase him. Alright you guys, so we pulled up in Namek, we're on wave 3 already. I have enough yen to place down Noro, so we're going to go ahead and do that right now. And he does start out circle AoE with a big range, I like it, I like it. Alright, so 17.4 range, okay. He's going through the floor. It's a pretty decent sized circle AoE for the start. $1,000, obviously you can't place him at the start. 9.1 SPA, I totally forgot about that. So that's very bad, just right off the bat. And he costs 1250 to upgrade for his first upgrade. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now he's doing 156 damage, 9.1 SPA. It's gonna stay the same for the next upgrade too. And 18.4 range, 9.1 SPA is very, very high. If this guy doesn't have some sort of like bleed or like stun, he is a legendary, so we're gonna have to wait to upgrade him. He's gonna be very expensive. All right, so we just did a second upgrade, 208 damage, 9.1 SPA, 19.4 range. The range is getting bigger, not gonna lie, it's pretty good. But like I said, that 9.1 SPA is kind of his downfall right now. Circle AoE stayed the same. Now we have enough for his third upgrade for 2,500 yen. So now he's doing 260 damage, 8.6 SPA, 20.4 range. His SPA did go down by 0.5, still pretty high. Circle AoE stayed the same, 20.4 range, pretty good. But 3,000 yen for his next upgrade. Now we're going to get Worm Consume. Alright, so we have enough for his fourth upgrade. Let's go ahead and do that now. 312 damage, 8.6. Yo! His circle AoE is humongous. 8.6 SPA, 21.3 range. That circle AoE is crazy. But the amount of money it's taken to get here is kind of a lot. So maybe he's definitely better for infinite mode. But that is crazy. All right. So now his next upgrade is going to be 4,500 yen. That's just crazy. It went from like being so small to this. So that's, I just wasn't expecting it. So the 8.6 SPA kind of makes up for it, so now that the enemies can't walk too far without being attacked. But 4,500 yen for his next upgrade. See like right here, all these enemies right here, they just got attacked. So right here, 4,500 yen. So that wasn't even his last upgrade. So his fifth upgrade is 469 damage, 8.1 SPA, 22.3 range. And looks like his next upgrade is going to get a big boost in damage. For 6,000 yen though, like I said, this guy's pricey, sheesh. Keep in mind, he is a legendary though. So if you're definitely bringing him, make sure you bring Bulma or Speedwagon. All right, we finally got enough for his next upgrade. 
So his 6th and last upgrade, 625 damage, 8.1 SPA, 23.3 range. Now I won't be able to test any of his status effects if he bleeds, burns, you know, stuns. Maybe on the boss, these guys only have like 100 HP, so on wave 15 when the boss comes, I'll let you guys know if he does bleed or anything. But there are his final stats, very expensive to place. And let's see how many of him we can place though. He's a legendary unit. We should be able to place three or four. I believe because you can place four Kizarus. Okay, you can place four. Let's see if we can place five. Okay, so you can place five. That's actually pretty good. Since his circle AoE is so big, you can consume like one big area. But I'm going to wait till wave 15 to see if he does any special moves on a boss that has more HP. But here we go. Wave 15. Let's see if he does burn. So 590, 590, 590. Wait one second. Let's see it right here. Okay, we sold him. So it doesn't look like he does like a burn or bleed. Hmm, interesting. Maybe we can test him one more time. Hopefully we have enough to max him. We don't even have enough to max him. Alright you guys, that was the brand new legendary unit Noro from Tokyo Gold Showcase in Anime Adventures. I'm not sure if he does bleed or not, but if you guys find out, make sure to let me know. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. W or L. This is Cream Puff K signing out. I want to say peace and be blessed. Sleeping until the midnight.